Hello, Arthur. Arthur, come up here. Come on now. Don't mind me. This ain't the time for your mind games. Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Let's go, girl. Come on, get it on, Patty. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... What? 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 When did you become so small-minded? 
If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. We are going to make it. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. 